Maxwell Frost is a 25-year-old activist and former Uber driver who will soon be the youngest member of Congress when he's sworn in next month. But it turns out he couldn't really secure a spot in Washington. As someone who doesn't have a lot of money, um, I really had to figure out what I was going to do. Specifically, a place to live in D.C. Turns out he says he damaged his credit for his future constituents after spending his own money on his campaign. I went and toured it the same day. I was there for about an hour, an hour and a half applied uh, and told the, the leasing person, hey, my credit isn't good. Um, you know, I have a letter from the House of Representatives saying what my pay will be for the, at least the next two years. And he said, apply, you'll be fine. I applied, spent $50 on the application fee and later found out that I was denied, lost my money. Um, and, you know, I, I was frustrated about it. Real estate agents say anyone with a credit score below 650 will have trouble renting, especially in more competitive housing markets like D.C. Frost says he's living proof it can be hard affording things in today's economy. In June, Fox 35 was live when Orange County commissioners took up the issue, saying they understand the situation people are facing locally. One bedroom costs more than my mortgage. And I said I couldn't live there as a commissioner. I wouldn't be able to afford a one bedroom with my four member family. According to Zillow, the median rental price in Orlando this year is about $2,400 a month. Compare that to 2021 when rent was about $2,200. But what we have to talk about is the entry point to power. And the entry point here as an incoming member of Congress is hard for working class people. This is something that people in Central Florida are going through every single day. We have one of the worst affordable housing crisis in the entire country. He says he plans on tackling these issues during his first 100 days in Congress. Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News.